I'm Liz Bernier. I'm from Canadian HR Reporter for HR This Week. I'm in downtown Toronto at the HRPA conference, and I'm sitting with Linda Galindo, and she's going to talk to us about accountability. Hi, Linda. Hi. It's great Thanks to be here. Thanks for coming. Thank you. So can you tell us a little bit about your session? My session is called The Straight Truth About Accountability. And I spend every single day with people who want to learn more about how to put accountability into their culture. And specifically the human resource departments, sometimes they get, HR executives get a bad rap around really connecting what they do to the business and being accountable. And this is going to make those connections for them. And we're going to talk about all the beliefs and attitudes that prevent people from being really, really effective with accountability because they're afraid of it. So can you talk to me a little bit more about just the dynamics that are going to start to emerge on that team if that accountability isn't there, someone's not carrying their weight, and everyone else has to pick up that slack? You said a really important thing, the dynamics in a team. It's not really a team if you don't start with people who will hold each other accountable, okay. right? Otherwise, the dynamic is you need a manager because the team will say, manager, you need to take care of this person who isn't being accountable. We don't have that authority. But if you're a real team, the first thing you put in place is our conversation about holding each other accountable. And if we are not going to rescue, fix, and save your underperformance, mm -hmm. we're going to hold you accountable. But we also understand you have family, you have a life, you have things you got to take care of. So we'll talk that through and we'll interdepend. Mm -hmm. Really important way to think about team. If you go into a hospital and you have to have a surgery and there's a team that's going to take care of you on the table, what level of personal accountability do you want from each person around mm -hmm. that table? 100 zero? Or, well, I'll do my part if they do their part, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So you got to be thinking everyone has this 100 zero available, which is why we talk about in the book I wrote, the 85% solution that we've measured. If you can find people with 85% or higher around that table thinking about ownership to the 85% level, you're gonna have the best candidate for team mm -hmm. because they're gonna know we gotta interdepend, there's gonna be things outside of our control, but we'll be accountable. We'll answer for what we're here to do individually and collectively at the same time mm -hmm. without conflict. Okay, well, thanks so much, Linda. Thanks for sitting down talking to us. Thank you, Liz. Appreciate it. My pleasure.